Hi guys and welcome to a brand new tutorial on how to create Minecraft 2 day in Game Maker 8 the Pro version, okay? So you want to create some sprites uh, One grass, one dirt, and one stone Which are 32 by 32 The textures are from the original Minecraft And you want to create some objects and the scripts and the scripts uh, will be the world generation and the world generation is completely random okay so you get like uh, the starting height the starting position and this uh, will be chosen very randomly in these uh, values so why these values well these values are chosen actually because the 240 is the same as the room height divided by 2 so you can say room height divided by 2 minus 32 minus 64 plus 32 or plus 64 okay so this is the starting height and then you get something like a, a, a variable which will follow the starting height every time it changes okay so the starting height is the height of the, the y position in the beginning when this script is executed but when you um, change when the computer changes the, the position it obviously changed the starting height so you need to see it like this this is the starting height okay this is the starting height and then it changes and then this this height is the alternate height this height is the alternate height this height is the alternate height okay so the alternate height equals the starting height on the beginning when this script is executed the alternate height will be the same thing as the starting height but later on it changes okay so then we get a dirt level a stone level and a variable which will follow the dirt level the latest the lowest dirt level so that's actually um, so that's actually the alternate dirt level so the for loop in this random terrain generation will be if x is the same as 0 which is the x position um, what was that? yeah which is the x position of the um, starting height that's my my clock right there and um, the x is smaller than the x is smaller than the room width then take a step of 32 and the 32 is the size of our uh, sprites what did it do wrong Um, and this is just the uh, plane biome so I'll say plane and the dirt level is the alternate height plus 32 because the alternate height is still changing but the dirt level is the same as the alternate height plus this level So at the beginning the dirt level is the same as the starting height plus this value and then every step it takes is the alternate height plus this value and the stone level is the same thing as the room height and the room height is 480 so 
in this for loop we will create the instance object grass and that is the start the, the alternate height which is constantly changing well not yet but when I say this When I say that, it will constantly change. And not only upwards, but, but always, uh, but also downwards. So, so we got another for loop, which is the YY. For the dirt level. So as long as YY is the same as the alternate height, as long as the dirt level is the same as the object grass, but wait a wait a second, the dirt level smaller than dirt level. This is the dirt level. Then um, it will take steps of 32. Instance create xx yy plus 32. So this 32 will say that the yy is alternate, is the alternate height, but it's 32 plus 32. Object dirt, okay? And then this yy will be the same as the alternate dirt level, which will define the position of the uh, stone. Why why smaller than stone level? Smaller than the room height. Then it will take a step of 32. So these are actually the same, but the ADL is um, this dirt level position also plus 32 so because this is plus 32 this gets plus 32 but then it will actually be the same then this alternate height this dirt level will not um, corrupt uh, will not uh, operate anymore so we need to say plus 64 object stone so let's fill in that oh I forgot one thing I forgot to actually create the object which will execute our our um, script And then actually set. Oh, I wrote the script. And then set the object world generation in our room. And we get this nice random terrain. So then, um, if you want to test your game without uh, without just starting the game and closing the game and starting the game, etc. We can say to our object that every time you press a restart button, the room will restart. It's much easier. So why don't we do that in our object? Say that when the uh, restart position of a restart restart button is pressed. Then just room restart. Now we get this. That's pretty cool, right? So that's random terrain. Um, yeah.
see you on the next tutorial.